one door closes, another door opens. Doors. It's The Real Estate Show. Welcome to The Real Estate Show. My name is Rick Naples. I am the owner broker of Zone Realty LLC. You zone your home. Today's subject on The Real Estate Show, I'm going to talk about doors or the word door. What is a door? What does it mean? What can a door tell you? Well, first of all, we know that a door is defined as an entryway or an exit. It's a way to get into something or exit somewhere. A door can be a pathway or an opportunity to go to something different. Now, doors for a number of years have always been considered the way to get through a wall or how to get into some place. Usually, doors were just entranceways or exitways, as I said to some kind of a structure. Over the years though, we've kind of changed the way we use a door. A door can be a way for us to kind of express ourselves. In other words, does a door reflect personality? And how does that all relate to real estate? Well, I've talked on the real estate show before on how the front entrance of the home is the first impression. In other words, when a buyer comes to your home that's up for sale, the first thing they're going to see is the front door. And that front door can almost set the anticipation of what they're going to see behind that door. Now let me explain what I mean by that. Colors. The color of the front door traditionally can mean it reflects the personality of the structure or of the people that live inside that structure. Now why is that important? Well, it's like I just said, first impressions. When you walk up to a home, If the door that enters the home is shabby, it's unkept, it's got a lot of issues with it, perhaps it has glass in it and that glass is cracked, or it's faded, or in some cases I've seen wood doors with mold on them, you know, it makes the impression that the rest of the home, the rest of the structure, is going to reflect what that door is saying. Now, having said that, I put together kind of an analysis based on some information that I found on what the door can say about the people or the personality of the person that lives there. Now, I'm going to show that presentation in just a few minutes, but I want to just talk about the door itself. The average door entering into a house is a certain size and a certain structure. It's basically made so that you can enter in comfortably. It can be a door that slides aside. It can be a hinged door. It can be a double door that opens into a room. There's a number of different structures as far as types of doors, thus my background here in the real estate show. The door is the entranceway to that next step. And as I said, it can reflect what is going to be behind that door. What kind of secrets are behind that door? What kind of views are going to be behind that door? Or what kind of opportunities may present themselves when that door is open? I put together a presentation that looks at the colors of the front door and what that color might say to a prospective buyer 
when they're getting ready to go into the house. Let's take a look. <laughs> Interesting. The color of the door has a certain meaning behind it, and the type of color that someone picks for the front door of their home may reflect their personality. Now, as you're watching this, perhaps when you saw that presentation, maybe you recognized yourself. What color is your front door? What does the front door of your home say? Now we use the doors to our house, not only as an entranceway, as an exit way, but also, as I said, as a way of expressing ourselves. Right now we're in the holiday season, so a lot of us will take that front door of the house and we may decorate it. We can light it up, we can hang a wreath on it, we can put different designs on it, we can make the door fit whatever the holiday season is, whether it's the month of October or November or December or even January or any other month. The door says a lot as to what the presentation is going to be. Now just imagine this. You are a buyer and you're going to go look at a home. And you've seen some very nice pictures of the home on the internet, whether it's on a real estate site or other sites. You now arrive at the home and you know, pictures are wonderful, but a picture can't really express the way it feels to look at something. You need to actually be there to get that overall sense of what's going on. So you arrive at the home, and now you're walking towards the front entrance. You're immediately looking at your surroundings, you're noticing the lawn, you're noticing the walkway, you're noticing the stairs. And as you get to that front door, you stop. Now, there's a couple of reasons why you stop. The main reason is you've got to give your realtor time to operate the lockbox to get the key to open the door so you can get inside. But while you're standing there, I want you to kind of look at that front entrance. How does it present itself? What color is that door? What condition is the door? This kind of gives you a mindset of what you may see when you go through it. So now your realtor fumbles around and gets that lockbox open and gets that key to open that front door. Now something as simple as how the door swings, whether it swings to the right or whether it swings to the left, can make a big impression. 
I've entered a lot of homes where it seems like the door opens, but it goes the wrong direction. In other words, I have to get everybody into the house and then close the door behind us in order for us to move around or get to the other side or get to a room that might be behind that door. Sometimes a door will open and it will open all the way. It may hinge all the way flat to the wall, thus giving a wide berth for you to be able to get through. That's an impression. That's something someone can interpret as whether or not it's welcoming enough to go into that structure. Now, of course, once you're in there, that front door may have reflected what the inside of the home is going to present. And that's where the color comes in, and that's where the theories about color kind of come into play. If the front door's color is expressing the personality of the persons that live there, perhaps you'll be able to anticipate what the interior of that home is going to present. In other words, what the furniture is like in the house and the colors of the walls in the house and the decor in the house, or basically how the home itself flows. Now that seems like a lot for a front door to do, but like I said, the front door of the home is the main entrance. It is a way of you getting into that structure. And that's why a lot of realtors will advise their sellers that they want the front door to be the entrance into the home that's for sale. Now you, as the seller living there, may never use your front door. Perhaps it's only the way that you open it up to greet a guest or maybe get your mail or something like that. You may come in through a side door, or a kitchen door, or the garage door, or even the back door of the house may be the main way you go in and out of your home. So the front door, sometimes you don't really pay attention to it. You know, it's that every once in a while when you open it, or maybe you open it every season to decorate it or something like that. But you have to be aware that if that door is going to be the entrance that's going to greet a potential buyer coming into that home, the way that door presents itself can make a big impression on that buyer. I put together the rest of the presentation that talks about door colors and these colors are colors that are not necessarily common colors but they do say a lot about maybe the personalities of the people that live there. Let's take a look.
Now, maybe I'm going to get a little philosophical here, but I want to talk about the door. A door. A portal. A way to pass through to something else. It is a way through a wall. Now, when I talk about a wall, I'm talking about a barrier or a structure that's in front of you. And sometimes in life, we can use the idea of a door as a way of getting through that wall. It could be an opportunity to present yourself in order to advance your career. It could be something that is advantage like to improve your life or your lifestyle. It could be a way of greeting someone into your life. In other words, the, the idea of you're opening up the door, you're opening up yourself to someone else. Doors play an important part in our lives both as a structure to enter into our premises and also as a feeling as to how we present ourselves to the world or what opportunities may be presented to us in the world. Now, there's an old saying that's out there that says when one door closes, another door opens. What does that mean? Well, sometimes you have to leave things behind in order to step forward or step through the door to the next opportunity. And this relates to real estate when it comes to selling a home. All right, so now you're gonna challenge me. You're gonna say, okay, Rick, what are you talking about? How, how are you relating one door closes to another door opens to real estate? <laughs> well, as always, here's how I'm relating that. You are a seller and you're going to sell your house. You're going to close the door on the home that you own in order to open the door to a new home that you're going to be going to. And there's how it relates to real estate. Closing one door does not necessarily mean that it's permanently closed, that it's the end of it. There's always an opportunity to open another door. Now, maybe not along the same pathway. And this can also relate to real estate. You may be going from a residential home to a condominium, or from a condominium to a residential home, or maybe residential and condo to traveling and opening the door on the world and traveling around. Maybe you're traveling around the states or maybe you're going overseas. There's a lot of different ways that you can look at a door and how that door presents itself and helps you as you're going through your life. Now, doors also can be barriers. They can block you. They can be in your way. And you have to think of ways in order to get through that door. And again, relating that to real estate, in order to step through the door to a home purchase, you have to prepare, you have to put together a number of steps in order to put yourself in the position to be able to move through that door to that next step. In other words, get through that wall. Now this can be a financial challenge as far as coming up with down payment money. It can be the challenge of putting a mortgage together. It can be the challenge of finding a home that fits your needs. It could be the challenge of the bank appraising that home. There could be a barrier or a wall that you have to work your way through. Now, one thing that realtors do, realtors open doors. And now, I know that sounds a little comical, but that's what we do. We open doors. We open possibilities when it comes to the purchase or sale of real estate. That's what a realtor does. Now, they're not only going to be the person, if you're represented by them as a buyer, to unlock the door for you to go in, but they're also going to be your guidance as to the processes of being able to open that door philosophically 
to get the things that you need in order to purchase a home. For a seller, your realtor is a door to buyers. They are the access point. They are the way to reach out to buyers who are qualified to purchase a home like yours that you have for sale. A realtor can present an opportunity. A realtor can help you get through the wall. A realtor can open a door. Let's take a look at this presentation that kind of plays with the word door and looks at what some notable people have said using or what a door is. Door quotes. the show with. When I said one door closes, another door opens, that's kind of the way we all relate or know that particular saying, but there's actually more to that, and I just wanted to read it to you. Uh, when one door closes, another door opens, but we often look so long and so regretfully upon the closed door that we do not see the one which is opened for us. That was said by Alexander Graham. So that right there is a statement that talks about what I was saying originally. You know, sometimes we get things that get in the way. Sometimes we have things that are a challenge to us. And we have to find ways to get through that. Now, whether or not that's through the support of friends or, or through relatives or whatever it might be, we need to be able to find a way to go through that door and be able to get to that next step. Now sometimes doors are closed tightly and they're locked up, they're bolted, and it's tough to get through that door, to get to that next step. Sometimes you have to find a workaround, sometimes you have to be a little creative, but all in all, when a door is closed, there's always a way to open that door, there's always a way to get through to that next step. Real estate's a challenge. In this particular market, there are a lot of closed doors out there. There are a lot of challenges. So working with a realtor may help you find a way to open that door and be able to get to that next step. I want to leave you with this final thought. Go outside your home and approach your home and look at your front door. Does that front door reflect your personality. What do you think? My name is Rick Naples and this is The Real Estate Show. I thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.
sometimes life just happens. Don't worry. Farmington Motorsports will get you back on the road and at a fair price. From towing to tires, emissions to transmissions. Our ASC certified techs do it all. Farmington Motorsports is a family-run business. We're a Napa Auto Center and AAA approved. We work on all makes and models from preventative maintenance to major repairs. And every repair is backed by our two-year, 24,000-mile nationwide warranty. When life happens to you, don't worry. Farmington Motorsports. Follow us on Instagram at nutmeg.tv.